Greetings, my drinking buddies. Today we're talking all about finished whiskeys and whether or not you can give a whiskey a nice port finish at home. I'm your drinking buddy. All right, drinking buddies. So today we're doing a little experiment or at least tasting a little experiment that I've been working on for quite a while. I took two of those barrel aging spirals that I like to use so much and dropped them into a bottle of port wine. They sat in that bottle of port wine for two weeks. Once those two weeks were up, I took those two barrel aging spirals and dropped them in this bottle of Wild Turkey 101. Why did I use two? Well, it does say on the package that most of the flavor will be dissolved within two weeks on one spiral, so I wanted to maximize my flavor being put into this bottle of 151. Now, why did I choose 151? Well, it's a relatively cheap, good bourbon, and I knew that this experiment could go awry. If I use something higher end, I'd probably be disappointed. And I know that 151 is fantastic, especially for the price, so that's why we chose 151. I actually don't know if this is a high rye bourbon or not. Um, I suspect it could be, um, but this is certainly a high rye bourbon. What is a high rye bourbon? If you're not a bourbon connoisseur, maybe you might not know this. Well, your mash bill uh, that makes up your whiskey, makes up your bourbon, is gonna be mostly corn, uh, and then a little bit of rye, and a little bit of barley. And on a high rye, it just has a higher percentage of rye. Um, does that mean it's more rye than corn? Absolutely not. Then it would be rye whiskey. Um, corn has to be the dominant grain in the mash bill, at least 51% for it to be considered bourbon. So here we have Angel's Envy, which is a great bourbon that is finished in port casks. So it has that nice wine finish to it. And I wanted to know, this bottle's about 50 to $60. Um, and I wanted to know if you could replicate that for about 25. $20 for the bottle of Wild Turkey 101, $5 for the spiral. Well, I suppose I did use two of them. Um, but when you buy more than one, they're cheaper. So about $6 for the two spirals. And uh, yeah, let's find out how it turned out. So our first glass here, we have our Angel's Envy. Yeah, Angel's Envy for me has a lot of uh, uh, caramel and um, definitely a little bit of a wine sweetness from the port aging, I suspect. Got a little bit of a peanutty thing going on there as well as some maybe some creme brulee. Mm. They like toasted sugar, like creme brulee. Yeah, just a all around good bourbon, but it's $50. Let's see if we can emulate that at home. This is our home aged. Mm. Yeah, well, as you can see, I've actually already tested this, so I knew how it tasted. Um, if it was a bad project, I wouldn't put it on camera for it. So I had to taste it before I tried it. And uh, yeah, this is my second time tasting it. And boy, this was a good project. This turned out well. Uh, this one's got a lot of warming spices, a um, little bit of sweet wine sweetness coming through. <laughs> the wine sweetness kind of reminds me of like a uh, Manischewitz, like, like sweet wine that you get, sweet red, like sugary red wine. Yeah, got a lot of um, spiciness coming through from the higher rye. Taste a lot of uh, spiciness coming through on it. A little black pepper, a little bit of cinnamon. All around. 101 is a quality bourbon as it is. Be a little patient, take a little time. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. You can make a decent port finished bourbon right at home. Well, drinking buddies, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate all of you taking the time out of your day to uh, click on my channel and you know make sure to click that like button. And uh, you know, it means a lot to me. Thank you so much.